Hello and welcome back to Barley Spring. Right, it is June and it's a beautiful sunny day, but we are in the shade here with the chickens because I wanted to check on them. Um, and they are 344. What? That's not, that's not right. Wow, okay, they're very, very overcrowded. That is not good at all. Um, right, the only problem with that is we can't really sell them. Okay, we have to change... We have to change uh, back to prevent overcrowding. I don't know what that'll do particular. I think in the next month it'll sell off what needs to be sold off because I I can't um, I can't keep up with them. They keep reproducing like mad. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I should just go in and sell maybe the the ones that are worth the most so that the young ones can actually have a chance to. To actually, but but what about the uh, the eggs though? Yeah, that's a bit frustrating. I'm not too certain. Right, I'm going to sell. How many of them? There's only two of them. Right, we'll sell those. I suppose for now. Uh, duck females. Oh my goodness. Right, how many of them do we've got? We've got two of them. That's really not much, but yeah, the the older ones I reckon take more food. That's the old, the oldest duck. Oh, middle of reproducing. Right, it's just a, a bit uncontrollable at this point now. It's <laughs> so many. If we had a bigger pen, it would be a different story. But there's only 200, which actually brings me to. Oh, before I do, I only want to check their food. Oh, blimey, they're out of base food. So that would be CCM bales that I have to purchase. Okay, that's on the list of things to do. Potentially, uh, this what I was I was in this field when I said, "Hey, um, the, let's check the sales." And I happened to check the sales, and there was the oh wow, there's more things now. Oh come on, <laughs> I would absolutely run. Oh wow, look at that. Nope, nope, nope. We'll save that for another series as well. I was in this field, and I said I was gonna. I had a plan for it, and I definitely got distracted by that very thing there, the baler, the Heston baler that I made at the purchase the very end of last episode. Oh right, I did want to actually repair it to see what it's, what the repair, well I won't repair yet. 1426. That's really not all that bad. Not bad at all. Considering the hours on it. <clears throat> anyway, so we'll get that repaired before the next. We do need the money we have now. So what I was thinking for this field, uh, part yard, but also more chickens. So that's why I was going into construction at the end of the last episode before I bought the Heston Baylor. So we do have this. Oh wow, that's 1,500. So that could literally be all of our chickens, but no. I think um, all of our money, rather. But yeah, we could fit many, many chickens, but I don't think <clears throat> I don't think we want to get heavy into the chicken game, to be honest. Um, but that's only 200 more. Right, you know what, for now we'll just prevent overcrowding, they'll sell off as they need I suppose, and we'll focus on the on the cows here. Actually what I might even do is, I might even just sell the lot of the birds and just focus on the cows, because it's just a bit of extra that I don't really know that I want to pursue in this series. We'll see what happens, I may keep them, I'll let their food go down all the way before I buy more. Uh, but we might just, uh, yeah, we might end up just selling off all of the feathered animals for now. We might buy them again in a different series, though. Loads of poop there. Brilliant. Our barley is growing, so it's not quite ready for, um, for foraging. But I reckon anything that this is... Yes, it is. Look at that. The wheat is seven of seven growth stages, ready to be foraged. I can only imagine that the barley will be ready to forage in the next month because it has one less growth stage than the wheat. Hmm. That's a good thing. Right, so let's look at the cows. Oh, God, I hope they're not out of food. Oh, blimey. Right, we should really head over to the... Very quickly, just going to head down to the other... Get out of my field please. Uh, we will come into this field today with the forage harvester, which we will have to lease to own, unfortunately. But as I said, the big equipment is all right. 
Um, this one here, is it growing? It's growing, but it hasn't grown yet. We'll have to keep the cows in there for now, but we have nothing to feed them. This really is quite the pickle. I might have to get straight up just cow food. Very unfortunate, but that's fine. We will manage as long as they haven't reproduced yet. 50%. Okay, so they have some time. Right, so the first thing we have to do is, well, we'll move the Lamborghini out of the way. We'll park up there, Heston Baylor. Our brand new, lovely, not brand new Heston Baylor. We'll park it right in there. Sounds perfect spot for it. Look at that. And it looks really good on the... Uh, What's going on? Look at that. What a process. Brilliant. And it looks really good on the Lamborghini as well. So we'll need to get the trailer ready. Uh, we'll convert it back to... Well, back to... We had it for a moment as a silage trailer. Uh, but we will do that now. Uh, what we might end up trying... What I'd like... What I would like, ideally, is to have the forage harvester uh, with that can actually affix to this pin type. That would be brilliant. If we can, uh, it'll make li our lives so much easier, at least in the beginning, uh, because what we'll do is we'll run it behind the forage harvester until uh, we can actually get through with a tractor as well, and then we can attach this to the tractor, making uh, carting just a bit easier as well. So for the time being, just put this here. And uh, I guess it's time to do some shopping. So we'll head down to the shop and pick out a forage harvester. All right, so here we are in the shop menu. Now we'll just have another check of the sales. Actually, I'll stop looking at the sales because I know what's there, uh, but we will ignore it for now. So we have a harvester, but we don't have a forage harvester and they are bloody expensive. For example, let's see, could we even lease this one? Nope, but luckily, I have found another class that will be uh, right up our alley as far as price goes. So 140000 to purchase, but we can lease it for about half our money, including the header as well. So I'm really hoping this is the right thing we need. Uh, well, this I know is, but the header we'll have to see. So since we are going to keep this, because we are going to do maize silage, we're going to do different things with it, not just a whole crop. So we will lease it as if we want to own it, which means I would like to upgrade the engine straight away. Now, I know that does increase our overall finances on it by a bit, but once we do lease it, we can't upgrade, and that is quite an upgrade as well. I reckon the max we can do is the best option for us to go for the 900. I just think it is the best one, because uh, if we do want to upgrade, we really can't afterwards until we buy it outright. Uh, as usual, we'll get the BKTs on there. They do look nice and beefy. Uh, as for the wheels, we don't have to go crazy because I think it should be fine even with the uh, extra horsepower there. Additional weight in the back uh, is not necessary, I would say, because we would like to affix a trailer, which it does look like it can. So that's exciting there. Extra front lights for 300. I mean, I don't think we'll do much foraging in the dark, but you never know. Extra rear lights, same for that. Really, if you get a lease to own, you might as well kit it out as best you can. Um, for the warning rear bottom. Oops. Yeah, go on. We'll put those on there at the, the bottom. Extra stickers. We don't need extra stickers. Uh, yes, yes, we want. Right, so this is something that's new to me as well. Where does that tank go? It must go somewhere. There it is. Pretty big thing to miss. <laughs> so that's where the silage additive will go. And if we look here, yeah, so it does hold 80 litres of silage additive, which, I, again, I've never used. So we'll have to see how that goes. Right, there we are. So the total lease for it's going to be 8,817. It's quite a bit. It is very expensive, but I think it will be worth it. So it is a... 604 horsepower class Jaguar at uh, 9 the 900 Jaguar 900 
Fantastic. Let's put one on the front if we can do. Nope, back only. That's fine. Brilliant. I'm very excited about this. I've uh, I have done forage harvesting in the past, but only really with maize. Let's do it. And we've got nine thousand six hundred and two pounds remaining. But look at what we've just leased. Wow. I'm almost certain that's going to fit right on there. No problem at all. I hope so, at least. Right, now we go into the... Well, we'll go back to it and hit combinations. Right, so we'll give us all the combinations. But these are specific to it. So this looks like just a simple pickup. So if we were to do the uh, mowing and the rowing and all that, we could use this machine to just pick it up. But it doesn't show... Well, maybe one of these is, actually, because they're all the same icon, but they must mean different things. But this is what we actually need to forage the actual crop itself. Now, I assume it must be able to do all of these. It's not for harvesting, but rather for... I didn't know you could forage sunflowers and all that as well. But anyways, we are going to use it for whole crop silage, which is uh, for barley and wheat, and... I think you can mow the other crops. Oh right, we have to actually purchase it. Well, in this case, lease it. Now I'm all over the map. Here we go. Drum extension. I don't really see why you would do that, so I won't do that. Yeah, let's lease that. Oof, that's very expensive as well, but it needs to be done. And there we have it. We're all ready to go in our class Jaguar 900 have a look at the interior as well oh it looks very very simple but very 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 detailed I would say I like how nothing is really blurry and it's all very oh, it's very well put together this very nice indeed right and then the header matches up as well the RU 600 oh yes brilliant we get those beacons on We'll make our way back to the farm and hopefully be able to attach to our silage kitted West trailer. Alright, so this will really be a test as far as the size of everything. Luckily, the... Oh my god, Sparky, watch yourself. Cheeky dog. Right, so we have made it in, no problem. We'll get the Lamborghini out of the way. Yes, it is quite large, isn't it? but it will fit very nicely next to our class harvester as well. Right, let's get in the Lamborghini, fired up, and relocated. We will, as I say, eventually switch over to it. Um, so I'll just park it up here for now. We will we'll probably end up switching over to it once we've done at least a headland or two. If th This is if we can connect to the trailer. Let's see. Oh, bloody Nora, I didn't buy any silage additive. Right, well, one thing at a time. Come on. Oh, that really is a shame. Right, that really, really is quite a shame. Oh, right, I spoke... Well, no, it's a pin, doesn't that... Mm, that's, that's too bad. Right, well, we'll have to sort it, because essentially... Uh... What we could do... Oh no, this requires... Narrow tyres now. Right, okay, well... <laughs> right, we do want silage additive added in. So, I reckon the best thing to do... You know what, we'll just take the whole... I'm going to leave the header here though, because we don't need to bring that with us. But I will head back to the shop just to collect the silage additive, which I should have got when we were there, but I was just too excited. As you can imagine. Uh, but right, this thing does do 40 kph, is pretty rapid, so we might as well just head back to the shop, get the silage additive in, and uh, see you back here shortly. Alright, well at least the uh, shop isn't too, too far away, so let's go to pallets and silage additive. Oh, there it is. 29.90! Bloody hell. <laughs> that's not... Ah, that's so expensive, but... I suppose uh, the silage that will come out will be super, super power silage for that price. Oh no, that's what I think of your silage additive. Right, did not mean to do that. 
Uh, but luckily it should all fit in as it is a 60 litre pallet and uh, it's filling up rather slow so I will let it fill up and we'll see you back at the farm. Alright, so we are at the field now and we have the 60 litres of silage additive in the tank. Now, since I know that's as far as we can actually go, I'm really hoping that uh, I suppose... Is there a cheeky way to remove this? No, I guess not. Oh, there we go. Right, that might be the way, but I, I, I it's nice that it's an option, but I will not take advantage of that if I do not have to. My, my whole thinking is that if I can get... If, well, I might have to anyways. If I can get the header in and then just start along along here and go in while the trail is nearby, then it should be fine. So I'm going to go get the Lambo attached to the west trailer and I'll see you back at the field. Alright, so here's to hoping that this is close enough. Now, we'll just we'll have to try it, see what happens. If not, then... Oh, blimey, it's going to hit the bloody gate. Oh, no, very nearly though. Um, right, so we'll put the pipe out. Hopefully it faces the trailer, that's a good sign. Lower it down. Fire it up. Oi! We've got something happening, that's brilliant! Now, please reach all the way. Ooh, that's pretty good. Now I reckon we should really get follow me going as well. It's look at that. So it is working, uh, but we really have to get. Yeah, we really have to get follow me enabled. Uh, we've got 53 liters in. Much surely it would be more than that. I, I do feel like this is uh, we're losing. We're losing some. What I'm going to try before I go faff around with because uh, I don't even have follow me uh, installed at the moment but it would be very useful at this particular moment but I am going to do a cheeky I'll call it a Bali spring edit and uh, remove that fence and then just set it on a helper and then carry along beside it as far as I can till I can't anymore and then I'll try and go behind it but let's see oh come on helper let's do it and we're off Let's see how well this works. If I can go behind, that would be even better. Well, not really even better, but it, I will start destroying the crop here shortly if I can't go behind. Please, please, let me go. Ooh, look at that range. It's not... Oh, don't go through the cab. Ooh, it's... Yes, follow me would definitely be the way to do it. But once we get this one side done, then I can just go along pretty much is follow me, just I'm following the AI instead of the AI following me. Ridiculous. This first bit's a bit ridiculous, but it is working. And uh, once we reach the end and they turn round, then hopefully we can... Uh, oh, yes. Oh, of course you're gonna... Oh, bloody Nora! I'm not, I'm not even moving that. Okay, I get it. I get it. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, you're going all the way. Absolutely not. What a mentalist driver I've got for a helper. Absolutely insane. I get what you're doing now, mate. Just hang on a minute. Oh, this is quite something. You just hang out there for a second. Right, I reckon moving forward with this, it will definitely be something that follow me uh, is almost a requirement because, yes, I'm going to miss bits like that and just a bit of a, a faff, really. But it should be fine. We are, we are moving now, so we should have enough room to turn around and we can sort that out the next time. I shan't remember, or shan't forget, actually, to, uh, to do that. Blimey, I've just seen our money. We are very soon going to run out of helper money. So I did all the leasing and then obviously the lease cost for everything came in. 
and the milk sales was only about six thousand three hundred pounds so what's going to happen now is it going to say you don't have any money or is it going to go into the negative because ideally it just goes in the into the negative but then we have no money well this is quite the predicament we've uh, find ourselves in we'll find out any second though is the helper just gonna jog on home Oh, don't stop in the field. Oh, no. Right. Um, right. Give us a minute and we'll have to get a loan and we'll have to get the bloody harvester out of the field before we destroy all that crop. So, just give us a second. Be right back. All right. Everything is set up as it should be. Uh, of course we are still out of money so what happened was we had the vehicle leasing costs and then that's what we got for milk and on oh, the water as well of course the water is what did us probably what did and the side of everything we're just out of money so I will borrow 5,000 at a time I don't want to overdo it uh, because we might have some money coming in in the positive soon and that would be fantastic if we do um, either way if we are oh go on shall we What's happened? Okay, that's not on. Get out. You're not helping. Let's see if this folds and goes that way instead. Brilliant. Now it should work. What's going on here? Just wasting all my money. Right, can we go a bit on our own? Yes, we can. Okay. Maybe that was all, all it was. There we go. We just had to get them started. Okay, hang on. We're coming. There we are. Right, so I will, as I say, I'll probably set up Follow Me for the next time. Um, it's just for this particular field. All we had to do was just have money. You need, still need money for Follow Me to work anyways, because uh, it is still a helper. So what we'll do now is break off into a cheeky time lapse, and I will just hope that the AI can do their thing and uh, we can get as much of this uh, harvest done uh, as possible without destroying any crop or missing many major bits but we shall see right we'll crack on with it Right, I have shut off the helper there uh, just for the time being because I have actually decided um, that I will activate follow me uh, just because it's so it's going to be so much easier and I feel like the money we're spending on a helper is actually uh, quite wasted to be honest um, when we could do it ourselves and it would just be that much easier even if we use the base game AI once we have a headland uh, covered, but that is kind of the uh, the biggest thing uh, for me at this point. So I will get that sorted. I haven't used it in a while, so I'll have to get that sorted. Uh, but I will do that, and uh, we shall return, and we'll crack on with the harvest. All right, we are all set up here with follow me. Now, what I need to do is the following distance will keep, but I do need to offset it. So I will do right control A. And we'll go maybe 1.5. So let's see if the distance is good. The distance is not good at all. Because he should be very close, actually. <laughs> it needs to be very, very close. Come on. I suppose I don't know how close he'll be, but I'm going to reduce the distance anyway. So right control. I'll put it at 5. Ooh, that's going to... Nope. I need to go that way a bit. Two and a half, three. Perhaps three and a half, four. That might be perfect, actually, right there. Yep. 
it, it, it is, but it could be a bit closer. Oh, hang on. So let's see if we can get... Oh, hang on, that's too close now. We need to offset by, let's go, 6, because the head is a bit bigger. And we'll do 0 on the distance, which means it should be right beside the whole time. Pretty good. Can we go faster, please? Oh, look at that. Brilliant. Now, this might be holding back because I've got the speed limiter at... Uh, yeah, we'll put that up to whatever whatever for now. And we'll see if it keeps up quicker. That's working. That's working quite nicely. Obviously, I can't tell if it's filling up, but it must be. And that is amazing. So now... Oh, no. He's going to go in the water. There's no way he's not going to go in the water. I, I suppose I should probably... Oh, no. Right, let's see what happens. Taking a chance here. Okay, not bad. <laughs> this is... Oh, hello. This is sort of working, actually. Just want to get... There we go. Oh, that's brilliant. Except for the tree. Right, now what we do here is simply offset the exact opposite direction and uh, hopefully it can figure it out by the time we get round oh I'm in the way that's all come on Come on. Am I still in the way? Perhaps I'm confusing it or something. Ah, there we go. I was just, just in the way. That's not bad, actually. Follow me works quite, quite responsively. I think it's just... Was the, is the offset too much? Sorry, I'm going to tinker with it till it's perfect. Uh, we'll go five and see if that makes a difference going to come in a bit. Not too much, I hope. Oh, I've hit the tree now. That's on me. That's really good. Look at that. That is really good, actually. Right, we'll bring that up and we'll have the... We'll have him follow us all the way to this side uh, because I want to get the headland done on this side. That is brilliant, actually. I really, really like that. That is very cool. Right, well, I suppose we'll crack on with it. As long as I don't put the helper in the bloody water, then we should be fine. We'll crack on with the harvest. Right, well, we're at the final pass here of the wheat forage harvesting, and uh, we got just shy of 17,000 litres uh, of, well, crop, a whole crop, actually, and eventually crop silage. Now, 
being as it's the first time I've ever done this, I uh, I suppose the amount of uh, what is it a uh, whole crop that we've received is similar to that of harvesting, but I'm not 100% certain because uh, we did get about what 16,000 some, but again. The nitrogen wasn't the best, and pH, I think, was was, was fine. Um, but yeah, we'll get this last little bit in. Hello, if you're going to go to the other... Oh. It must have a small compartment that it hangs on to some of it, but... There we have it. We have... Uh, all of the wheat has been foraged. So, for now, I'll just put this to the side, because we will be using it in the barley field probably next month. So let's put the pipe down. I'll turn the engine off. I've used it for point not not 0.6 hours, and look at that, 59.07 liters of silage additive remaining. So we'll take this to the bunker silo, and we'll dump it in there. All right. So we're just going to put this into the bunker, but it can tell already that we do have whole crop, so that is very good. Now, I am wondering though if this is the best way to go about it. We did miss the maize uh, planting season, which, as far as I'm aware, does give the most amount of silage, because this does not seem like a lot, to be honest. Um, again, it could be that the field was just poorly maintained um, as well, but we do have their 16,000 some liters of whole crop. really doesn't seem like enough, does it? Even with our barley field. Hmm. I'm a bit concerned now that we'll need more silage for this year for the cows alone, let alone for whatever the chickens might need. We might have to sell up the chickens and just focus on cows to get that uh, maize plus practice in before Court Farm. Um, but as it stands, I feel like this will be a much better crop. It's not all bad. Nitrogen's not all bad. It's okay and better in some places. Um, but yeah, I guess we'll just find out. We'll see what happens. We do have. St we still have grass. We still have grass fields as well. Let's have a look at which ones we do have. Uh, that's to say 64 is still, which we could and should probably... Right, where's grass here? Uh, we should... Pr oh, it's ready already. Blimey, it was j I just cut it for hay. We didn't get a chance to lime all the fields either. That's very frustrating. Um, well, we might still have to use it for silage anyways. Um, don't know what we're going to do about that, if we're going to bale it or not. But nevertheless, um, yeah, I suppose we'll just have to wait and see. But this is now done, and this field will probably be repurposed as another whole crop field. Uh, or, don't know, maybe, maybe we will. Let's see, what can we put in here? Right, so we'll be able to put other crops in soon. Probably focus more on uh, the whole crop side of things. We might even do oats. Whatever we can do sooner than later. Except for canola. Because uh, we don't need to do that. Unless we put canola in here, harvest it, and then use that far crop as a whole crop silage. Because we'll get a lot more out of that than we do out of this field. Anyways, we'll figure that out. Uh, we will tuck a few things away, might put this away for now, and uh, then we'll move on to the next task. So I was having a look around, and as it stands, we don't really have anything we can do uh, in June. So I, I would cover this, but we will have more whole crop. Now I'm hoping it should be the next month, should be July, that we can actually go through and whole crop our barley. Uh, the other thing is with the grass field, the cows are just about out of all that food as well. I'm really hoping that the pasture field here is growing by the time that we put them back. Right, it doesn't quite show. I'll have to check that in the uh, in the next month just to see. But we do have 64, 67 as well all uh, ready to be cut again. We aren't going to do that. What I'm thinking I might do, now that we have our beautiful Heston baler, and I suppose I could have done this with the uh, class baler as well, is that we can actually... I was having a look at the the wrapper options, and now as far as I'm aware, the only option that we can wrap square bales is with the X tractor, I believe it's called. Uh, let's have a look here. 
bale wrapper so it was this machine here uh, that can do up to 240 centimeters but there is a go whale that can actually do 180 centimeters but then even better than that there's a maze plus specific wrapper which does 240 centimeter square bales not only that but it does specifically does the Heston ones that is what we will be doing uh, with the grass fields we have a lot of hay uh, as it stands here we'll just head over to our bale shed and show you because uh, what I might do then is I might take a round of uh, grass cuttings and do some some uh, baled silage instead we've got loads of hay here we won't need any more hay for some time so when the fields are out there ready to grow ready to harvest stage uh, state two then that's when we'll cut them when we got the little green tips or yellow tips kind of like this or this one here even better look at that massive piece of grass we missed anyways when it is ready I know the pH value isn't great uh, in this one or in our other field um, but it will be extra silage and we might be able to use it I'd like to see the difference now that we've done uh, pit silage with grass we can see how the bales are different and then to lease something like that because we would only lease it not lease to own would be 200 and, oh, 2,075 that's fairly expensive but we would get so much back even just selling one bale could potentially cover that maybe a couple of bales but they are big bales though so anyways that is uh, where we're going to leave it for this episode uh, in the next one, we will get more whole crop dealt with. Uh, we'll probably be do. We'll have loads on. There's there's loads on to do. It all seems to fall in the busy times once in a while. It's not every month is busy, busy. But this month in particular, there's really not much else we can do. Uh, unfortunately, we could bring more food to the cows, but I want to feed them with what we what we produce. I might have to buy some cow food though but I'm really hoping the grazing field is ready to go uh, for July so that we can put them back over there until we have more food and then we can bring them back here and at least we can easily bring them back and forth. Right, that is all for today so thank you so much for watching. If you did like the video cheeky thumbs up goes a long way appreciate that and uh, until next time please do take care and bye for now.